In this video, we will demonstrate how to create custom label sizes within Mac for your label printer. If you are looking for a way to print custom size labels, such as an Amazon FN SKU, a specifically sized PDF document, or to create your own label content, then this is the right video for you. It is necessary to create a label size within the Mac operating system so that when it comes time to print your label, the print dialog will have your custom defined label size available as an option to print. To make these changes, let's begin by opening a web browser. For this demonstration, I will be using Chrome. Go to the website arcscan.com slash small dash sample. Click on the printer icon in the top right corner or by going to File, Print, and verify your ArcScan printer is selected as the printer. You may need to click on See More if the printer is not showing in the drop-down list. Scroll down to Print Using System Dialog. If you are using Safari, it will start at this prompt and the previous steps can be ignored. And verify your ArcScan printer is selected as the printer. To save these settings, let's choose Last Used Settings as the preset. With the Label Size drop-down list, choose Manage Custom Size. Click on the plus sign to create a new template. In the Non-Printable Area drop-down list, choose ArcScan. Please note that when this selection is made, it erases whatever was previously in the height and width fields. So please be sure and make this selection before filling in the height and width values. For label size, we need to be sure and get the height and width of the label in the proper fields. Height, we will measure in this direction, one and a quarter inch. Width is this way, two and a quarter inches. If you don't know how to convert the fraction of your dimension into a decimal, then divide the top number of your fraction by the bottom number. Divide the one by four and we get 0.25. This means we will put 2.25 in the width field and 1.25 in the height. Double click on the untitled line to give this page size a name. I am creating this for a 2.25 by 1.25 inch label. So that is the name I will give this size. It doesn't have to be named the label dimensions, but please name yours in a way that you will be able to recognize this label in the future. Now we can click OK. We can see this option available as a label size, and it can be selected next time you need to print. To save this information, Click Print to print out this small sample label. If a single label printed and fills up the entire label, your printer is working properly. With these settings saved as the preset, next time you print, all of the information should be filled out and ready for easy printing. Let's look and see. Using the same small label, click on the printer icon again, or go to File Print, we can see that the proper printer is already chosen, paper size, and for scale, fit to printable area, or adjust scale percentage to fit. Usually it's 100%, and this depends on the program or web browser that you are using. All we have to do now is click print. Also, please perform printer calibration any time that you put a different size label roll in the printer. Please see the video link in the description on how to perform printer calibration.